Caridio 13 investigates coverage. One of the return to nature funeral home owners is out of federal custody tonight. The judge allowed Carrie Halford to stay out of jail if she wears a GPS monitor. She and her husband are accused of more than a dozen federal fraud charges connected to the nearly 200 decomposing bodies found inside their funeral home in Penrose. Caridio 13's Tyler Cunnington is live in Denver at the federal courthouse all day waiting to see if the co-owner will walk out of those front doors right behind you, Tyler. Yeah, Bart, Heather, like you said, we've been out here all day and we're still waiting for confirmation from the U.S. Marshals about whether or not they may have given Kerry a special escort out the back entrance of the federal courthouse here in Denver. At 11 a.m., I will tell you, we saw Kerry walk up to the revolving doors right behind me, pause and then turn around upon seeing myself and other reporters here. In any case, the courthouse closed at five. We've been seeing some people file out still slowly, but it appears Kerry has not walked out of here just yet. The federal judge ruling today that accused funeral home owner Carrie Halford can leave jail and come back to Colorado Springs. There are conditions, though. She'll be on home detention with GPS tracking. The judge also put her on a $10,000 unsecured bond, meaning Carrie just has to show up to future court dates to avoid paying a fine. Cardio 13 learned that DoorDash, the delivery service that John and Carrie were working while out on bond for their state charges, have just suspended their accounts. That means they can no longer work as delivery drivers for DoorDash until their trials are over. Carrie will now stay at the hotel that she and John were previously living in leading up to this federal case. Christina Page, a family member at court today, says she's glad to see Carrie and John now split up. These people have separated so many people from the ones that they loved. And to know for the last several months that John and Carrie could be together um, even as co-defendants um, and continue on with their relationship has been pretty disgusting and discouraging. Now, John and Carrie are set to next appear here in the Denver Federal Court on June 14th, ahead of their jury trial, which is tentatively set for June 17th this summer for those federal wire fraud charges. Reporting live here in Denver, Tyler Cunnington, Kirdio 13 Investigates.